What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to live stream on the right time because let's say that you have viewers from all over the country, from United States, from for example, like India, Germany, United Kingdom, everybody's in different time zones. How can you actually, you know, live stream on a time that will actually that, that will reach the most people? So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and as always, let's get started right after the intro. So right now I would like to introduce you guys to own3d.tv, the ultimate website to get your resource for live streaming, whether it's overlays, alerts, alert sounds, panels, stinger transitions, sub emotes, sub badges, bit badges, website for streamers, an avatar maker, everything that you need to get started live streaming is on this website. No matter if you're looking for streaming overlays, gaming overlays itself, talking overlays, webcam overlays, stream panels, stream banners, these panels when somebody donates that pops up during your live stream. Everything is on this website, guys. They have a ton of excellent ranked reviews on Trustpilot as well. Everything comes in high quality that you can download right away, guys. It is really cool. Check the link in the description. Start downloading today and improve your live streams. Now, let's continue with the video. All right, guys. So as you can see, we are right now, we are on Mixer. And in this video, I'm not going to show you how to create a live stream overlay or how to import your face cam or how to use a green screen, anything like that, because what's the point? point of having a great live stream if you're streaming at the wrong time slot because we have to understand that Twitch is built on a worldwide audience and is popular 24 7 thanks to the different time zones there's always an audience for your stream so it doesn't really matter at which time you're streaming there are always people online on Twitch 24 7 because also on the time differences across the world it is a learning you must make yourself okay so let's say that for example if you find that 2 a.m your time is the most popular time for you to stream but it means only you sleep four hours a night then that's not a good stream schedule sure you may pick up an extra viewer here and there but you'll be half asleep and it'll affect your real life the next day so ultimately it's not worth it prime time isn't always the best time guys because think about it it's 7 p.m in the evening and everybody loads up steam turns on obs and starts streaming this isn't the magic hour this is the noisiest channel so twitch and mixer are basically the same thing they're offering you entertainments from all sorts of games talk shows so it doesn't really matter at which time you're streaming on mixer or twitch it, it works the same for both websites if you're aiming for the international audience which starting out you probably shouldn't be don't worry about the peak times or the quietest dead zones on twitch these provide you with opportunity to stand out in a smaller crowd everybody thinks that when you're starting out i should go live when everybody is watching twitch or watching mixer because then the most people will also see my stream you can also stream on non-peak times because then you're one of the creators stand out to a smaller crowd like i've mentioned so let's take twitch for example example you can use a tool which is twitch tools or twitch strike to see when twitch and channels are most active what you also have to keep in mind is to be aware of others let's say that you're starting stream fortnite but then ninja comes on it may raise awareness to the game that people start watching your stream or it may do the opposite and drive even potential viewers to the big streamers and not you the best thing to do is to be aware of what's going on as you stream and adjust accordingly and just like youtube consistency is everything guys a viewer base is built off consistency if you're uploading a video on YouTube, people will know that when they subscribe, they can expect one video a week and they will always come back that same Sunday or same Monday or whatever day you're uploading. And that's the same for streaming. If you're streaming on a Friday evening and people are following you, they're more likely to come back the next Friday or anything like because they know that's your stream day. But then if you go live all of a sudden on a Tuesday at like a 12 hour difference as your last stream, people don't really know when to expect when you're going live. It is all well and good streaming when the most people are online or when you are most likely to stand out but if you can do that time in a week in week out then people are less likely to come back and watch your broadcast obviously because like i've mentioned this is based on consistency what you also need to understand guys is to host communities make friends and support your friends as well hosting can be used to keep your following entertained until your next broadcast so let's say that you are streaming with somebody else if they host you when they are offline they will see your live stream when you're going live when they go to their channel <clears throat> so guys just be consistent make sure to 
just pick a time slot that you're comfortable with so the next day is not gonna like suffer under it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about how to stream on the right time on Mixer and Twitch. It is basically the same thing. It works for both websites. So that's it. And like I've mentioned, if you want to use these awesome assets like gaming overlays, panels, alerts, face cam borders, everything you can imagine, make sure to check out own3d.tv. The link is in the description. That's it. And this is how to stream on the right time on Mixer and Twitch. So guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to go ahead and check out own3d.tv for all the assets that you need in terms of like live streaming and all that. Thanks a lot for them for sponsoring this video. I want to thank guys for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. And I will see you guys obviously in my next video.